Hello, everybody! It is Prodigy Queen again, and in this exciting, mysterious Prodigy video, I'll be revealing to you a new Skywatch sneaky code that you can find in only the very deep depths of Skywatch. Now, before we begin this very creepy and exciting video, don't forget to hit subscribe and like button and smash the notification bell so we'll not miss out on any of product videos. So guys, I'm still working on decorating my house and now today I would like to share something else. So, um, let's just remove this for a quick second while I'm talking. There is a new code in Skywatch. So if you go to my video, um, a secret code in Skywatch, if you go over there, and if you um, pause the video at the part where I am opening the chest, you will go ahead and see that there are actually secret code right on the ledge above. Whoa, what is that code? So that code is something mysterious that no one, probably no one knows about. A lot of people do who are great and great finders. So I was going, I was going to go exploring in the Skywatch, try to explore every corner, try to find some Easter eggs. So I found a Billy Foot Dog that you can check that video out soon. And also there's, um, there's, I also found this awesome code which I would like to share with you today. The first thing what you're going to want to do is go to Skywatch, of course, but first I would like to put up this empty chair. And uh, as you can see, I'm doing um, a lot of effort, and um, if you want to know how to collect some a lot of these magic snowflakes, there's a, uh, there's a helpful tip video. Let me go ahead and uh, just to rearrange these into this position. I'll write this. I also have this giant chair. I think I'm actually going to be putting this somewhere soon. I don't exactly know where. Which one? Which chair looks better? Yikes, yikes, yikes. I don't exactly know. Let's put this rubber ducky back. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get into the video now. So, what you're going to do is head over to the map and head over to this green stop with a lot giant cloud lingering over it. You're going to press play, and next, what you want to do is you'll see a bridge. And an empty path and a slider to the path. You want to go to the slider. Now your buddy will disappear, don't worry, it'll appear on the other side. So once you've climbed onto the slider, brace yourself, don't fall, it's just empty cloud. After you reach the other side, you're gonna want to sneak up to this pipe, and avoiding this monster can be a giant pain and so what you want to do is you want to go to this up pipe over here, then quickly jump into the factory. Whew, we made it! So guys, you will see two pets. One, um, they're probably bitbots or cogmite. I have a cogmite up here. So what you want to do is you want to creep along the fence. Shh, don't wake up the cogmite. Then what you want to do is you'll battle this pet over here. So I'm going to go ahead and battle this pet and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I said I'd be back from the battle. But why not have some fun and do this battle together? I'll also tell you some facts about this mysterious code. So just like the Billy Foot was a nod to one of the artists and prodigy as I showed you be sure to check out that um, on the big Billy foot videos um, I have how we explore and find some in different places so boom that did a lot of damage and so about this code it could be another gesture to one of the artists who helped create Skywatch it must be really old and Skywatch is pretty old too Crystal Chronicles just came out so its code is a little bit more hidden so let's go ahead and now uh, use Flying Star Smash and let's solve this question. I'd like to tell you one more thing about the mysterious code. All the characters could stand for a pet. Like in Skywatch, there are fish shaped pets and stuff like that. Just like there are some fish characters and stuff um, in the Crystal Caverns code, there could be some in this code. So let's go ahead and now use a, a big supernova spell. That'll probably defeat both of them if if they don't. These pets are way too powerful and like goddesses. So let me go ahead and solve this question. Uh, let's just put these thingies in. Uh, okay. That's the no monster. Don't leave me. Hug me. So I wish there were some new pets coming to Skywatch, Volcano, I mean, Bonfire Spire. Also, the Room Run or Harmony Island is coming anytime um, this week, so be sure to keep, keep 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 your eye out for that. That's pretty cool. Oh, what? The Cogmite is a goddess. Did you know that? Or the, Cog the Cogmite is a god. It survived after like five or 
four shots. That is unfair. No. A wizard can be even defeated with like five or four shots. This monster is good. Oh, it's so sad. And got a little bit frustrating, but that's okay. At least we can quickly solve this question if it goes quickly. The prodigy I've made, this is so difficult to move around with. You have to click like a million times in order to get the box's attention to finally insert your numbers in. Okay, guys, that was a pretty quick and a little bit fighting with pets battle. Now let's go ahead and get back to finding our awesome code. So let's just go ahead and get these things. Let's get our... Uh, gold, and if we get, if we're lucky, we'll get any outfits and stuff. Try clicking on the chest as many times as you can and see if a glitch happens and you get more gold. So guys, we got the Wand of Dreams, two magical snowflakes, a copper coin, some arrows, and 200 gold coins. I don't want to wear this since I already bought it, like, a long time ago. So guys, what you want to do now is you want to go onto this mat, which has these, um, iron platings. You know why? Because there can be fire ignited any time. So anytime there's a fire, I'm warning you guys, you don't want to get burned or you don't want to lose your precious wand that may have costed thousands and thousands of arrows or gold. Then you want to go ahead and go on this um, flammable mat, which, which will protect you and grow like a wall of metal that will shield off the fire. So you want to um, carefully um, climb these steps. They're rubbery and a little bit sticky from the water and humid humidity from the sun. It's so close to the sun because, you know, there's clouds. And as you can see, we're in a currently a large ship. Skywatch is a ship. And as you can see, there are tiny shuttles here. So it looks like we're outside a, an airplane or something. Okay, guys. Now, since there's a lot of monster battling, but we are almost there, we see two pets over here what you want to do is you want to battle one of these pets and i'll be right back from that battle and actually i keep saying we'll be right back from that battle but i want to tell you some more interesting facts so i did the battle together the thing about i wanted to tell you was how the how the bit bot moves. In, um, before the bit bot had really long and stretchy legs. Now the bit bot has super thin and really small legs. And I honestly think the before bit bot was a lot more cuter than this one. But the way this one attacks is a little bit creepy and also cute. That thing pops out. So guys, let me go ahead and solve this question. Let's just put that stuff in. Six, six, six. Let's enter. So guys, um, as you can see how the big bot attacks, its skull cracks in half. You know, there's a giant crack up here. Do you see that? And its skull cracks in half, and some weird, cute little thing pops out. I think it's like a tiny, like, shrub or something. It looks so creepy. All it's because its head pops open. But the thing inside is also a little bit cute, because of its little smile. And um, it could be the bit its brain, and I don't know why Prodigy would want to be inappropriate and put Brains and stuff sticking out. The thing about bitbots is they have they're overpowered and they have too much health. So that's the thing I don't like about bitbots, since they have too much health. Oops, why did I write fifty two there? Hello, I didn't write fifty two. Well, I probably just did, but I'm I'm just kidding. See, guys, this is getting a little bit not exciting. In the previous codes and things, we found many exciting things along the way. Why is that? Well, for one reason, it's because this code over here is really rare, and you should have, um, only a few people have discovered it. So I worked really hard to find this code. I was just exploring all the outskirts of Skywatch and, like, just peeking around the railing, and then I realized something was popping up and down. That was a code that was coming up and down. So I'll be showing you what I mean by, like, popping up and down down what meaning by um it is actually moving and it disappears when you go near it it's kind of like that billy foot dog in bonfire spire because um whenever you go in when when you hide into that shrub the, uh, the dog pops up and down but this one it doesn't pop up and down it just fades slowly away as you step away from the railing so as you can see, uh, we have defeated the first bitbot, but the second bitbot still remains. I think that's why, and that's because we used Flying Star Smash on one of them. And there comes the creepy attack again. And for once, the bit missed. And um, now pets are missing very rarely for me these days. That's like, it's really sad. I'm really used to losing a lot of health. But, but luckily, Prodigy did not make it that you have to heal every single time. Then you have to battle. So guys, it's the best thing is that now Prodigy automatically heals you unless you have zero gold. You have to pay some um, gold. If Unless you like have zero health left, you have to pay some gold. But if you have zero gold, don't pay anything. It's free. Dude doesn't charge you anything. It's free. Dude doesn't charge you anything. 
I don't know why Prodigy did this. I think what Prodigy could have done is, since you don't have enough money, the next hundred coins you get will be immediately spent on this um, price. Kind of like you're saving it for the end. Okay, guys, so as you can see, there's a broken wire over here. We can try to fix it, but don't burn yourself because of the hot electricity. Skywatch wires are really creepy. So, guys, after you've come in through here, what you'll see is this um, another secret compartment, but the code doesn't appear here. You want to go outside in the fresh air, not the dirty smell of mechanics. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go into this door. Okay, guys, so after you went in through that door, or you will reach this cloud and closed secret place. Now you might be wondering, where is the code? Usually the code is hidden in a secret corner somewhere. But this code happens when you go into this certain yard. Like, go to this small pole over here and a message will pop up. Now I will zoom into this message in a second. And look, my, my buddy is still all the way over there. Hey, snowy, snowy. I'm here. Whoa, that's so cool. He was like all the way over there, but let's get to the code. So um, you, 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 you cannot click here, so you'll have to go a little bit more closer to the railing to find the code. And as soon as you step away a little bit far, the code just fades away like that. Now, I um, as I was saying earlier, um, there is an eye icon up here, and if you click that, you'll get to the crystal cavern code. We can be we can investigate whether these two codes are similar. I will go ahead and zoom into both of the codes and see what they resemble, and to see what they mean actually, and if we can use them for something or not. If not, you put them there, just like the Billy Foot Dog as a salute to an artist, or they put them there, you can use them to get epics or something. I think that is very unlikely likely most likely a gesture to one of the artists who made the skywatch area and a gesture to one of them who helped with the crystal caverns there must be some are all around the prodigy world but so far um i was just exploring around la 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 la, la. it was a nice cloudy day and i just found this code over here so guys, let me go ahead and now zoom into both of these codes, the Crystal Caverns code and this one, and we'll see if they match or if they resemble anything. Okay guys, so here's the zoomed in version of the Skywatch code. Now if you want to see the Crystal Caverns code too, um, once again click on the eye icon and you will get to this video called the secret treasure chest so what you want to do is as soon as i the treasure chest you can pause the video and see that a code is written right above in the ledge so guys as you can see it has a bunch of random characters such as some o o with two dots in the middle a fish and some kind of weird thing which we don't understand so this is not a code that we can use but it's something that we can certainly admire as a person who would like to find some cool Easter eggs and things. Alright guys, let's head back over to Prodigy and I will end for today. So we're back at Prodigy. I am deciding I would like to stay in here for a little bit while the chilly winter passes by. I will go back once it's night. So guys, that's all for today. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Once again, if you did, make sure to hit that like button. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to more mama so and anime also Prodigy videos. I love you guys all so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!